Over the holiday weekend, there were more than 35,000 migrant encounters at the southern border since the start of December. Encounters have now exceeded 250,000. And Fox's Bowen Kadrovich is in the border town now of Eagle Pass, Texas, with more on the update here. Bowen. John Ellen, well, it is a completely different picture here from what we've seen this time last week where these fences behind me were flooded with migrants waiting to be processed. And now you can see that there is not a single one waiting here between these fences. However, over the past few hours, I did see dozens of migrants come over that fence behind me and escorted away by agents. Now, on top of the numbers that you mentioned, CBP sources tell Fox News that the border sector in this part of Texas encountered more than 2,000 migrants in the last 24 hours. Some migrants coming into Eagle Pass have been sent to processing facilities. I spoke with one woman named Monica near a shelter who traveled to the United States from, from Ecuador with her daughter. She says the journey to get here involving crossing through rivers and a jungle. At one point, she did not eat for three days. Monica explains she is first traveling to San Antonio, but her goal is to reach New Jersey. She told me she came to the United States for a better life for her and her daughter. Well, the economy. And the second reason was to escape from the abuse caused by a family member. That was the main reason. That was the reason why I had to travel with my daughter and had to have her experience all the hardships that come with making the month-long journey. Secretary of State Blinken and Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas plan to travel to Mexico City tomorrow to meet with the president of Mexico. They plan to discuss how the United States and Mexico can further address the issues regarding the border. In Eagle Pass, Texas, Bone Kudrovich, Fox 10 News.